The Kissing Mask is a performance that's about, uh, that riffs off of a drawing by this artist Ruby Onyanyechi Amanse. And in the drawing there are two figures kissing and one of the figures has a mask on and she asks, part of the title says, who are you kissing when you kiss a mask? And so I was very intrigued by the drawing and also this question of who, what is it like to interact with the artifact in this way? And um, as a performer, how do you, what's the relationship between myself and the audience via the mask? It's really a way to provide an alternative space for interaction. Um, I think that I mean, masks function in all different ways, but the way I use it mostly is to interrupt rules and expectations and modes of interaction that are part of the real world and provide these separate or otherworldly or um, non-sanctioned experiences in a way. So to open a space um, within regular ways of interacting. I felt like God in a way, <laughs> which sounds funny, but it was like, I was like, oh, this is what God must feel. Because you're basically, People say anything because they don't think that you're, you're not a person, right? And you're, but you're there and it's not like you're a ghost or something scary or, you know, a figment. And so they really talk about like, what, who am I kissing or what does it mean to wear mask? Like they're having this discussion that I can hear, but it's as if I'm not there. And it's a discussion about like the intimacy of touch and, um, and it's really beautiful. It's kind of confessional in a way. And I really, I thought, I felt privileged to be able to hear that and like, wow, humans are really amazing and like flawed and quirky and, and I can just sit here and witness that. And so there's something, there are questions there that I find really interesting. And also because I think in people's difference, there are, and in thinking about identity and how identity functions in society, we so often use it as a way to, to separate and to say, okay, this person's that, and so I can understand them as this, and I can um, be unforgiving because that's who they, you know, they're this kind of person or this type of person, or they look this certain way. But really there are ways that we are so connected with each other, and those things I find really beautiful. And, and so I think the mask, in a sense, or this kind of performance helps people transcend that. And for me, as, a, as an artist, I get to witness that, those imperfections in people, because I can see them, but they can't see me at all. kind of like looking or taking or making a portrait of a person, um, which is something that requires you to see beyond this sort of like physical, immediate physical layer. So you ha I have this experience of seeing people um, stare at me and they have this kind of, I mean, it's a little voyeuristic for them, um, but in a very, unselfconscious kind of way. So I think the audience has no expect, they don't have to react to me or feel self-conscious or um, they don't have to react or not react. They're just kind of there. I mean, kissing can be so many things, but I think that it can also be a way of connecting that is purely um, about recognizing another person's humanity and maybe divinity and sort of their essence. Everyone has this personal, you know, these personal questions about intimacy. And for many people, it's like, oh, whatever, I'll just do it. Or, But even when they get close to do it, it's like they don't really get much. They don't get anything from me. It's not like it's not a mutual action. 
I think that idea of interaction but refusal is very uh, potent in the piece, that you, you have this experience, but it's not really giving you, it kind of gives you what you expect it to give you. It's not meeting you in a kind of way. Thank you.